Hello everyone. I'm standing in my closet in Sweden. It's been a really long time since I talked to the camera, um, but I wanted to come on and show you this box that I got. It's called Zalen by Zalando. Um, they're a company based in Berlin and they do a box similar to Trump Club where you fill out a style survey and they pair you with a stylist. And it's a department store that has lots of different brands. So you don't necessarily get all one brand like Stitch Fix. Um, I was really, really curious to try it. So I thought, why not make a video even though I haven't done it in quite a long time. Um, there's a, many reasons for that. Uh, and maybe I'll talk about it a little bit while we go through the video. Um, so I'm not gonna do a unboxing, but I'm gonna do a try on. So I'll see you back here in just a second with the first. Hey, so something I forgot to mention is that I ordered everything in a size 16 UK, 44 European, or I believe it's a size 14 US. Um, so this is the first dress that I got, which was hanging up beside me. Um, and I just realized I have the papers here so I can look at the prices. Um, so this is from Evans. It's called the Floral Sparkle Tunic at size 44 and it's about $50. Um, the prices are in Swedish kroner, so um, I have to do the conversion, which is not complicated, but yeah. Um, so I like it, it has long sleeves, but they're not, um, they're not, they're, they're kind of sheer. Um, and there's a full slit underneath, like this is an, a dress that comes out um, and a, unattaches from the, the other dress. So if I wore this uh, on its own, it'd be pretty see-through. Um, it has a tie at the neck um, and it goes just above my knee, as you can see. And there's like a, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but there's like a sheen of silver running through it, which is really pretty. Um, the only thing is, is it, it seems like the buttons are pulling a little bit. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, here I'll come up a little bit closer to show you. Um, there's like a gap here in between the buttons um, of the dress. And I'm not sure if that's because of my bust or if it's just the way it's supposed to be. Um, I like that it's a navy color, not a black. And it has like a lime, kind of yellowy green uh, flower. I like, the length I like the long sleeves too actually which would be from in North Carolina would have been an absolute like right out no um, but I think this would work uh, in the Swedish summer which is a little cooler and rainier um, and it's nice and flowy so this is a definite maybe um, and I'll look at the next Another thing I think I have to mention, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera because I have the window closed um, or on my phone. Um, there is a tradition in Sweden in June called Studenten, which is when high school students graduate. And usually they load up into a dump truck and ride around blowing whistles and carry on and making lots of noise. Um, this year it's been canceled so that there are no dump trucks, but the students are still celebrating. So they're driving around, hanging out of cars and beeping their horns. So if you hear weird beeping or kind of whistling sounds, that's what that is. Um, hopefully it's not a thing, uh, but it's kind of a funny quirky thing that they do here uh, at, every year in June. We actually just got to our second anniversary of being here and uh, it's it's been annoying every single year, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't get much better. Um, so I want to talk about this dress. It goes. It's a long dress. It goes till maybe mid calf. Uh, so this is not the right color for me, um, and I just just don't like the shape and how it falls on my body very well. Um, so this is a no for me, but there's so much more in the box, so I'm not worried about it. So it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos and I realized I didn't name the brand or the price of the last dress. I'm gonna link everything below. Um, I don't know if it's available in the States, but um, might be interesting to see 
Um, I think the last dress was Vera Moda. Um, this is a Dorothy Perkins top. It has a statement sleeve and it has yellow flowers. I think they're daffodils uh, with greenery on it. I just threw my leggings on that I was wearing um, to put this top on. Um, I'm not, I, I'm interested to try these statement sleeves. I don't know that these are the statement sleeves for me. Um, I feel like I look a little bit silly in them, like I'm about to fly away. Um, so this is another pass for me. The next two pieces are this top. It's like a little eyelet top with buttons down the front. Um, I had to put a tank top on underneath because you can see right through, if I come closer, you can see right through. So it has a tank top on underneath. Another thing that I don't really like about it is that you can see the flap where they folded the material over. You can see that through the shirt. Um, and I'm not really a fan. It, it just doesn't seem very well made. Um, this is by ZZ and I have at least one or if not two other things by ZZ on the box and I've heard good things about them from a friend of mine. So um, I'm going to give them another chance. This just might not be the top for me. Um, and then these pants are culotte length so they come up to about mid calf. Um, they're, they're a linen blend, but they're blended with polyester, so I don't know how useful that is. They have pockets, they come up quite high. Um, I'm just not thrilled about the color of these pants. Again, they looked whiter on camera, uh, on the preview, and I thought, oh, well, I'll try these lighter pair of pants, but I'm really clumsy and I tend to sit in things <laughs> as soon as I put light bottoms on, so I um, tend to shy away from this color of pant just for practicality reasons. This is another dress. Um, I don't like it because it's made out of 100% polyester. It has some re a really pretty print with the colors um, and the flowers, and I like the sleeves. It's a wrap dress, and I think there was something lost in translation because I told my stylist that wrap dresses, even though they're supposed to work for everyone, what all the magazines say, um, they'd never work for me. So um, I'm gonna pass on this one. Um, it goes, oh, sorry, it goes all the way to my ankles. Um, and if it didn't have the problem of completely gaping in the front, I might consider it. Although the polyester, I'm trying to stay away from stuff like that because it doesn't really breathe. Um, but yeah, so this is another. So this is another ZZ top that I really like. It's a linen blend. I'm not sure what the other materials are in it. Let me see. Um, it's linen and cotton. The only thing is, is when I do up this top button, it gapes slightly, but it doesn't have that problem when I leave the button open and I think it's decent enough like I'm not showing too much cleavage which I don't love to do um, so I'm gonna consider this I specifically asked for tops that you can wear with leggings and this one definitely you can and I love that it's linen um, so and I love the color so we'll see that's this is another maybe um, and then I have these high-waisted jeans um, which I didn't tuck the pockets into um, I really like the fit of these except they're distressed so it's a no-go from me because I just don't I don't mind the look of distressed jeans but I don't like buying things that are already ripped um, so if my jeans were to rip I would consider still wearing them but I'm not gonna buy them already ripped and I don't judge other people for doing it it's just my personal preference so um, we'll see on the top and it's a no for the Okay, so this is another top from ZZ. Um, I'm not sure what this is made out of. It feels like cotton. Um, I'm not 100% sure on it. It has a tie at the collar. Um, I like it a little bit better opened now that I see it on camera. It's another top that I can wear with leggings, which that's what I just chucked on, uh, the, just the leggings that I was wearing. Um, but I'm not sure I'm in love with it. So this is a maybe pile, I think. So the last two things are this skirt, which I like now more that I'm seeing it on video. I just threw it on with the t-shirt that I was wearing earlier. It has pockets. It goes to about mid-calf. 
and it has buttons down the front and they are functioning buttons so if you had a bit more of a tummy they might um, pull a little bit but this is pretty flowy and nice and then they sent me these Steve Madden slides I'll come up a little bit closer um, I like them they're in very neutral the only thing is is that they're extremely flat uh, in terms of like the arch support um, there's nothing uh, and I just don't think I can afford to wear shoes like this anymore. So the skirt is a maybe and the shoes are a no. And actually, I have one bonus um, item that's not actually from the Zalando box, but I went into H&M and saw a dress and was curious to try it on. Dressing rooms in Sweden are closed, so I couldn't try it on, so I bought it because I liked it enough that I thought it would look good, um, and I figured I'll try it on for you on camera. So just a second and I'll... This is the dress I bought at H&M. I was drawn to the tentiness of it. I kind of like the look of kind of dressing in a potato sack, um, but again, I think the sleeves are just not the right statement sleeve for me. If you pull them all the way down, it looks a little bit strange. Um, I like it better when they're pulled up, but the elastic, I would have to cut it, um, and I don't know if it would have the same effect, um, and I, I just don't know if I would actually wear this look out. Um, I have a pair of gold running shoes that I would probably pair with this, or some Birkenstocks or some flip-flops, um, but I'm going to have to have a think about it. Um, I really like the print, and there is a shirt with this print, so maybe I'll pick that up? I don't know. Um, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and it's been a pleasure to be back. So maybe I'll think up something um, else and get it up for you to watch because I miss interacting on YouTube. All right, take care and goodbye.